Hi everybody. I have one more addendum to the track icons that we were talking about in the last two videos. I'll put some uh, links to those two videos in in this one. Uh, I'll do it right where I'm, right now where I'm saying it. So right here will be the two links. But uh, anyway, um, wanted to tell you I I took the liberty. A lot of people have been writing about how to uh, get those images so you have them. And I, I thought of a way, why don't I just screenshot them? That way we have them. So I took as many as I could find from the Cakewalk default factory icons that are used in the project template uh, window. Let me show you real quick. Um, here's a program I have up, but let me bring up the window here real quick. We've been doing this. So this is the uh, the project window. You can go up to new project and you can have all your templates up here. We talked about that in the last couple of videos. But all of these here, except for the ones I made, I made a couple of custom ones here uh, to look a lot like the other ones here. Um, I do a lot of brass recording and I always wanted to have just a an emblem that showed that. It's a lot easier to spot those because I have a lot of those mixed in with my symphony stuff that I do. So I have a full orchestra template there and then I have my mastering thing there. But anyway, I went and I made uh, pictures of these that you can download and they're on my website and I'll put the description uh, in my webs in the YouTube channel. So if you want to go and get them, you can. But I have pictures of all of these, just screenshots. If you want to use them, they're, they're the factory defaults, most of them. I've, I made a couple of original ones, like this one, and the rock band, and the brass band are ones I made. But um, anyway, if you are interested in having them, you, you they're free. Uh, I've got a link on the website that clearly says, says where to go, a cakewalk. Uh, items. Uh, just click on that and it'll take you to the download page and you can download them for free. But I just wanted to let you all know that you can have these pictures and what it'll do is make it so, you know, if you want to just put it in here and not have to worry about getting everything programmed just right because it's really kind of cumbersome. Sometimes it'll come up and be like, what did I do wrong? Because it, it shows a blank screen or shows the, the project screen uh, and it doesn't show the, the emblem you want. So at least with this one you can get it in there so that it's permanent. So if you go into your notes section here in Cakewalk you just click on that the add sign and go to the images where you download them. And uh, this is where I put them all. So let's say I just wanted the uh, this is a rock thing so I want to I want to put the rock emblem in there. I gotta go find it now. Where is it? I'm still in the process of making others here. If you guys have any ideas for icons, let me know and I'll see if I can make them for you. Okay, so I put that picture in there. And all I have to do is go do just like we're going to save the, the template. Actually, I don't want to make a template. I just have to, I just want to have that on my project folder so it's easier to spot uh, on there. So I'm just going to leave everything the same. Put this on project files. This is already saved in there so I'm just gonna hit save next blues it already exists so I'm just gonna say yes because it's overriding it so I go over here now to start screen and it's gonna show that track with that emblem in there okay so that's how you put those in so if you're interested in getting those download them uh, say hi <laughs> while you're there um, if you want these, uh, feel free to take them. But uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions on what to to use as icons, uh, let me know. I could probably make them. I'll just I'll just use this template to to create them. These are close. These are real close to the same. This is a factory one here. Cakewalk made this. Um, this is stuff I made. I just kind of made another background image like they did with the, the spotlight on the floor. And you just put your item in there, and I can make it so that it makes a, the drop shadow underneath it, so it looks like it's floating above the floor. That's what gives it the kind of cool look to it. 
But anyway, if you want them, grab them. Uh, give me suggestions. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.